Alrighty, let's jump into, let's actually get the delete path finished. And then we'll jump over and get the segments finished. And that will be it for the moment. The delete path is a little bit different as we have to um, adjust all of the paths after the path that we are deleting. So if I have, let's say, four or five paths here, and I decide to delete path one, it start index is one, which is right there, zero, one. That one's two, three, four, five. They've all got to come down one. If this is a curve, though, then this has two more, and it ha they have to come down three. So for this one, to, this will be zero, one, two, three, four. And it needs to come down to one. So it needs to be decremented by three. Not that big of a deal. It's just more code. Um, and there's less code in the actual command than there was with the, the new path. But we have to go put some uh, code in our segment. So let's do that first. And let's go ahead and write. Let's go ahead and get all of these path functions in our segment and in our path. Get them out of the way. So we're coming over to the segment. Just go down to the bottom. Um, public void just for removal. Uh, the start index, the index of the vertice, the path vertice, in the pass path index. Sometimes we'll pass negative one into the path index because we don't want to check whether or not. The path, we don't want, we don't care if the uh, path we're currently adjusting is the path that we are calling to. But for this case, we actually, oh, hold on. Do I actually do it that way in this case? No, in this case, we actually don't care because we're removing the path before we actually do the adjust. So that's fine. Path part, path. Path part of the child. Now we have to jump over to the child real fast and add a just for removable, uh, removal, <laughs> removable, <laughs> removal over there. So let's jump over here. So let's go ahead and add all three of our functions over here. No, oh, actually, all two of our functions. So public void adjust for removal. I just want to put an, a, a ball onto it. don't know why. If our start index is greater than or e equal to the index that we're checking for, we decrement it. So let's go ahead and do our insert also. And that'll be ready when we get to it. In the same way, if our start index is greater than or equal to our index, then we increment it. Now we jump back to our segment. Funny, it's gone. It's right over here. And we are going to lose our minds slightly because of the way we set up the preview project, the guide project. It's getting kind of funny here with these earplugs in. When I move, it sounds like my neighbor's beating the walls of their house. Let's go ahead and adjust. It's just the little earplug moving around in my ear. It's funny. Adjust for insert. Get this one out of the way also. And this is when we insert or do a or, or convert to a curve. All right, come on. Quit that Microsoft. No IntelliSense is a little slow. I'm getting slower. But it's not nice when you're looking at another screen and you're typing away. And you look back and there is just funny code in the window. <laughs> okay. Anything else? We'll do just for the curve next. Let's jump back to our command. Not too bad. If parameter is a main page view, page view. Oh, come on. If 
never used inbox for a single thing. It's always popping up. If MPV that selected item is a segment, then we're going to grab that segment. If the segment that selected path is not equal to null, and this selected path comes from the list view now, not the tree view. Then we're going to get it, get the start index. We need the index of the path to remove it in a little bit. Why would I want that? Why does that make any sense? Tell us since. Oh, I remember when IntelliSense originally, originally came out. It was a big deal. It's going to finish our code. And that was like 20 years ago. And it's still just trying. It's really does, it really does a good job. But it also can get really annoying. Microsoft's trying to do something with it. Trying to turn it into something else. Alright, so... Blah, blah, blah. When we set this property, it's going to turn this path into a curve. So, when we set it to false, it's going to turn it back into a line. We're just going to use that functionality right here. We don't actually have any curves yet, but we will shortly. And if you mark anything as a curve, you will crash whenever you try to do anything. <laughs> Come on. Nice. And that's actually it. Not that severe. I might actually make this suggestion of 15 minutes. Wait a minute. Why didn't I use index of? I got rid of that because I'm using the I'm removing the part directly, aren't I? Yeah, I just removed the part directly now. So index of is useless. Getting any errors there? Nah. Grab this one and delete. Oh no, I didn't change in my code. But see, that's a good thing about binding. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. It's a good thing is to show you an example of binding. Yeah, that's, that's what I was doing. With the binding, we can come over here and change it and we don't have to restart. See? There it goes. They're all gone. Now, before we got enough time, I'm going to go ahead and put the vertice list view in place. And that will be used for isolation mode when we actually get to our graphic program. We're almost there for this stuff. So, hang in there. If you're just here for the binding, uh, we're, 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 almost, we're almost home. Then we'll get into the, the graphic stuff and responding to the scene changing and refreshing a canvas. And I don't really think I need a stack panel here, but I'm going to go ahead and put one in there. And we have to remember to clear this guy's binding. So it needs a name. LSV Vertices. Try to send it, make it sound manly. Nothing in IT sounds manly. Okay. I'm going to put a set height to 200 on it. I guess I could put a minimum height there. List view item template. Data template. Don't need to do a data type. Because we're just going to use binding here. Text block, text, binding. Very boring, very simple. Eight, zero. So we're just binding directly to the vertices. It's just going to show us its 
uh, values. Um, and it's LSV vertices. LSV vertices. I guess I didn't really text block change that. Um, let's see here. And what else do we have over here? Anything that we need to clear? Um, LSV paths. Probably should clear those. Is there anything else? Don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about those. Alrighty. Let's go test this one more time. And then we'll come back through and start finishing everything out. We have to... Segments, we have four more commands to do. They go rather fast. And there's all of our vertices. We can't see them yet, but it'll be just like the preview that I keep showing. Uh, let's jump over to output. Looking for the word error. No errors. Awesome. And let's jump down to path. Oh no, I crashed. LSV vertices. No, it's not what, no. No, no, no. Get funny with it. Stop talking like a child. LSV vertices item source. I don't know why I typed that in there. Come on. List view. <laughs> List view. Item source property. Yeah. Let's try that again. Back when Borland was around, I think it's pronounced Impacarda now, Borland, Borland C++, the war was who had the faster compi fastest compiler, Microsoft or Borland? And Borland, I remember when I started college, it was like Borland C++ 5 or something versus Visual Studio, and we had to do both. But that'll work. All right. And delete the layer. Yay. Oh, no. We got to clear all that stuff out. Shouldn't cause any problem to actually try to edit it. Probably getting some errors back over here in the output window. Guess not. There's nothing to edit there. All right, if you got something out of this, like and subscribe if you want me to continue. Uh, the editor, the vector editor, it's not Adobe Illustrator, but it, it's not Inkscape, but it ain't bad. Uh, like I said, to get a lot of the functionality from uh, either get a lot of the functionality like Inkscape or Adobe, you have to go full-blown into Win2D, and that would be like a year-long project. You know, it would just boom, it would be huge, but... This is uh, this would be a great place to create templates like of uh, whatever your chibis or your uh, cartoons or, or your buildings or whatever you're working on. You can make templates of the things you do all the time, and save them, and re, you know just automatically pull them up, save on file space, put in a compressed file. Uh, and uh, I think we will actually export to SVG in the end when we get everything finished. But right now, I'm trying to get everything finished for the people looking for binding information on uh, UWP. I believe this all applies to Windows App SDK. Um, but I'm going to probably flip all this to Windows App SDK if it's light. And that way, we can actually do the clipping and stuff and do it, get a little bit more advanced and uh, more easily jump to Win2D. All right, so if you like this, like and subscribe. God bless. See you in the next video. Hopefully it'll be within a week.